let me say this. Before I came to God, started to follow his rules and regulations, I really did not have too many perverse or demonic dreams. Maybe when I was around five, I would have so many demonic nightmares. But when I became determined to stay in sin, I really did not have too many demonic dreams. Now, there were times where I would dream about being in this dark room and I could feel fear everywhere. And there were times where I would be in a dark room with fire <laughs> everywhere. And I believe that God was allowing me to have those hell dreams to try to persuade me to get me out of sin. But my most intense hell dream, I believe, was in 2007. So crazy. So clear. So real. So, when I was determined to stay in sin, I really did not have too many perverse dreams or too many demonic dreams. I did not. But around the time when I wanted to do things right, when I wanted to stop sinning and started to change my life, so many demonic dreams. And as I increase in God, Sometimes things makes no sense. So you can't believe that to be coincidental. So you can't say that dreams are dreams. Obviously, dreams can be used as a weapon. And you may say that, Kevin, you are crazy, you are tripping, whatever, man. Listen, dreams are not coincidental. They are real. You may have had a family member die and you may be dreaming about that person, interacting with that person. You have to know that is not your family member. That is a demon. What if a demon would appear to you now? Would you interact with it? No. Why? Because demons don't bring blessings. So you can get cursed by interacting with a demon. How can anything deceptive, anything hideous, anything evil bring anything good to you? If anything if they give you anything that seem good, you better believe in the end you are going to be cursed. There is a price to be paid. Only good things comes from God, not demons. So when you are doing perverse things, evil things, things that are not of God, you have to believe that is a demonic dream and it is happening for a purpose. You have to understand this. 
dreams are not dreams. If you can get cursed from sinning on this earth, what do you believe demons are trying to do while you are dreaming? Curse you as well. So we need to come against that. How can I have so many demonic dreams more than I have ever had in my entire life but back when I was in sin, I had little to none dreams. That is not a coincidence. So I am being attacked more. Why? Because I am not sinning as consistently as I once was. So what do you believe demons are trying to do? Get me back into sin again. You better listen. This is not a coincidence. So when we have these dreams, everything is based upon our free will. If we don't come against demonic things that come our way in life, then they are going to have free reign over us. So we need to reject demonic things that come our way. I pray that this makes sense. God has given humans authority, control over this world. So you may say, well, how are demons able to do what they are doing in this world? Well, if I am telling you humans have control over this world, we have authority over this world, so if demons can do what they want, that means there are people out there Ah, uh, there are people out there giving demons some type of control in this world. Let me say this. If I have a key to a safe, a key, a safe that no one is able to break into, so if someone gets into my safe, chances are I would have to give that person the key. Let's say that I have this safe where no one can break into or take from me. So the only way that person can get into my safe is if that person has my key and let's say that no one can take my key or steal the key from me. So if a person wants to open my safe, they need my key. So if that person opens it, that means I have to give that person my key. So there are people out there calling upon demons, praying to demons and Satan and stuff like that, giving them authority to do what they want on this earth. When we pray to God, what are we doing? We are asking God to act on our behalf. Why are we doing that? Because we have authority on this earth. God, please heal me, heal that person there. We are calling upon God to act upon this earth. So you don't believe demonic people are doing the same? Come on now. So let me get back to my point, rejecting demonic dreams. We have to understand this is serious. 
you can't go around have these evil dreams and believe that they are okay no they are trying to sow seeds within you trying to push you to do something that you normally would not do so let me read this right quick and it is not that long okay not that long so rejecting demonic dreams we have to understand that dreams are not coincidental dreams are real if you allow them to go unchecked demonic dreams will have an adverse effect on your life I am serious dreams are supernatural spiritual you need to pray against those demonic dreams right now you need to verbally reject everything that occurred in your dreams how can you do this do you remember everything that happened to you in that demonic dream or dreams try to remember as much as possible once you remember reject everything that happened to you in those demonic dreams what do I mean by rejecting everything that happens to you in those demonic dreams you have to reject those demonic dreams verbally with your mouth you don't have to speak it out loud you can speak it silent silently to yourself as well everything that happens to you in a demonic dream you have to verbally reject it voice out what happened to you and say I reject it right now in the name of Jesus also I want you to say any demonic covenants agreements soul ties or anything else that is unrighteous attached to my life because of these dreams I reject it I reject bind and cast it all out in the name of Jesus Christ amen we have to do this when we have these demonic dreams so make sure you make notes of this dreams are not dreams they are supernatural they can hurt you I pray that this makes sense God bless you